welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a brand new in with Quiz Clothing because I basically, oh my god, I've got two, 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 two huge bags here to go through. So yeah, there's quite a bit to get through. But what I thought I'd do is I'd try them on with you guys so you get to see how they look on and how I go about styling the different pieces that I've selected. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sh start off with what I think are the shoes because then when I'm going through all the different bits of clothing, I can hopefully pair the shoes with the outfits. That's my intention anyway. So if you're new to my channel, then I basically work with quiz clothing on a monthly basis. So I'm kindly gifted bits that I select um, every month. So I get to kind of, hang on. We will get there in the end. Oh, okay. So when I picked these out, I picked them out with you guys in mind because I know that black boots are an absolute staple for this time of year. And I've already got a pair of black boots from Quiz Clothing and they're more like a, a Western style boot. These are much more of a square toe boot. So the first thing that I picked out were these crocodile pattern textured boots. They're in that like kind of like shiny vinyl, I wanna say, like shiny leather vinyl kind of material. And they've got a square toe and they've also got like a little block heel. I got them in a size six. I don't know how comfortable they're gonna be, but we'll see when we try these on. So yeah, that's the first pair of shoes that I picked out. I just thought, also they've got a zip. Well, that's cool. That's weird, I've never seen that before actually. So in terms of how you get them on your feet, there's a zip at the back of the boot that you just undo, pop in, and then zip back up again. So I just want to put the other boot on. So you, basically you put, I don't know if you see this on camera, you put it in like that, which is so weird. Oh my god. This is, this is harder than it looks, guys. Difficult. <sighs> Sweating. Maybe my maybe my heels too fat. Oh, <sighs> we're in. These are on. Got their eventually. I think they actually look really really nice. I really do like them actually. They're cute, but just an absolute struggle to put on. But that could just be because I've got fat um, heels. But yeah, this is what they look like. Okay, so moving on to the second pair of boots that I picked out. Now, I don't know whether they would have gifted... Ah, uh, right, okay. So, I was so, like, kind of blown away by the quality of the calf length boot that I was gifted last month from Quiz Clothing. And they were, like, a black, plain leather. And I've worn them to death. And I will continue to wear them to death. But I just thought they were absolutely amazing. I was so impressed with the quality. So I've gone for a crocodile print. Red leather calf length boot. They're very out there. I've never owned a pair of boots like these before. But I just thought these would look absolutely stunning. With jumper dresses, skirts, normal dresses. But I thought also they would add um, a pop of pattern and colour to probably what I wear the most is like an all black outfit and they're really kind of like a soft leather so I don't think they're going to take any sort of kind of like breaking in whereas the boots that I've just shown you I think they may take a little while to kind of break in. I assume they come to like just under the knee and obviously it depends how tall you are but we will see when I show you in the cutaway and how I'll go about wearing these with different outfits but I also got these in a size 6 and I am pretty much a size 6 in every pair of shoes I think any time I'm ever sizing up is when I wear like really high high heels and I tend to get a size six and a half seven just because the more your foot arches um the kind of probably the biggest shoe that you need oh I'm really excited to try these on and see what they look like because I was like I said mentioned I was so impressed with the shoes that I was gifted last time and definitely well worth the money. Right, let's move on to clothing. So when I picked up some of the bits of clothing, I definitely selected these with you guys in mind and I really hope you like what I've picked out because I think there are some gorgeous autumnal pieces in here. Is this the dress? I think it 
think it is. Okay, so I only own, I say only, um, I own like three jumper dresses, but they're all completely different styles. And I don't own one this style. And I've seen a few people wearing it on Instagram. I'm not going to show you, but basically it's a beige roll neck jumper dress but it comes down to like your ankles so it's quite a long jumper dress it's like a cable knit which is really really nice just first impressions it is quite a thin jumper dress which i don't mind so much because obviously i'm planning on wearing like a little top underneath or maybe like even like a pair of tights and i think sometimes people will steer away from jumper dresses because you can get really hot and quite claustrophobic in them but with this knit i think i'm gonna be okay got it in a size small for reference obviously when i try it on i will kind of be able to assess out whether i've gone for the right size here but i just thought how nice would it look with the black boots that i've just shown you really excited to kind of style this my way i've seen people wear it quite a few times on instagram but i just want to kind of have my own take on it and i think that's something that i want to make sure i'm kind of talking about is that you can have like five six girls boys wear the same item of clothing but kind of what makes it your own is how you go about styling and how you go about wearing it so whether you add like accessories or whether you add like a pop of color in like your makeup or something or like an earring even something like that so that is the first thing that i picked out a really cozy jumper dress for lots of the autumnal evenings that we're now going to be having in thanks to boris johnson and covid19 so yes so oh, the jumper dress, obviously you'll see in like the full clip, is super oversized. I'm so glad I got a small, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like without the belt. I think this will always need to be worn with a belt, or it's going to need to be worn with a bag to kind of cinch you in from the back. A bag like that, and then you kind of wear it like this, just to kind of give you a bit more shape. What I would say though, is that the quality of it is really, really nice, and it is super cosy. But for personal preference, and obviously you've seen in the cutaway how I've kind of styled it, but I do just think that this side of the dress is just always going to need a belt, but that doesn't bother me because I think it kind of breaks out bit as well. And then I have just paired it with the red crocodile boots from Chris Clothing as well, which I think actually looks really, really nice. And then I've just kind of accessorised it out how I would this piece been in my wardrobe for a period of time. That is probably how I would go about wearing this particular jumper dress. But what I will say, it's really nice quality and I definitely think it's worth purchasing. Just don't size up in it, just stick to your normal sizing because it is rather oversized. I also realised, kind of, I'm in the process of, sorry it's probably really loud, I'm in the process of sorting out my winter wardrobe. I've ordered some new hangers, uh, which you're going to do that together. Um, I'm going to basically just sort my wardrobe out and have a bit of a clear out. So I realised I don't really have a lot of wintery dressy tops. Now you're probably thinking, why are you going to get dressy tops if you're not going to go out? But I still like to look glam. Like I know that at Christmas time, I'm probably still going to have like nice evenings inside. But I'd wanted to have kind of more of a dressier vibe going on. So I picked out, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. But I picked out this black mess, mess? Ooh. mesh sheared um, top and it's, it's like a peplum kind of style because it's kind of got like the ruffle hem at the bottom and then it's that nice stretchy fabric in the middle which I absolutely love and I got it in black because you know you can never really go wrong with black I always think it looks really nice especially in winter with the, like a nice red lipstick got it in a size 10 just because I know it's going to be quite fitted, but I didn't want it to be like super, super tight. At the moment, my boobs are kind of all over the joint. I don't know what size they are, what bra size I should be wearing or anything like that. So I thought I'll go for a size 10 just to give me that extra little bit of room. This is the little peplum top. I don't think you can see it, see it that well because obviously it's black, so it doesn't really pick up on camera that well. It's really nice. What I would say is probably get your true to size. This is a little bit big around here and I've just popped it on with just some black flare trousers and I just paired it with the boots from Quiz Clothes as well just to kind of complete the outfit just to kind of show you that this kind of top can really take a quite basic black outfit and just feel like it's like dressing it up a little bit um, I'd also probably wear this with some blue jeans I think that would look really nice but I was just kind of just feeling an all black look for this one but yeah it fits really nicely it's really pretty and it's definitely more of an evening kind of top for sure just to take a bit of a break from clothing and go back to accessories probably the item that i'm so excited for because 
I've wanted to own one of these for so long and I've never really had the balls to wear one. But I selected a fedora hat. Is that what I say? Fedora? Yeah. I don't know how it's going to look like on. Oh. I don't look as cool as what I thought it was going to look like. I look a bit like a cowgirl. Have I got it the wrong way around? Howdy, partner. I feel like I look like a cowgirl. Major cowgirl vibes. But I really like the colour of it. It's quite big. Maybe that's what it is. It's quite big for my head, so maybe I'll have to wear, like, another hat underneath. I don't know if it looks right. I think it's too big for my head, which is a shame. Maybe I need to get, like, one that's smaller. But, yeah, I don't know about the hat. It's a shame because it only comes in one size, so I don't think I can make it any... No, it's definitely that way around, isn't it? That's definitely that way. I like the colour of it. I just think the size of it is just too big for my head. What's next? Right. So yeah, I think these are the... Ah, yes. Yeah. So I wanted, and I wanted to show you kind of the leather trousers that they have on Chris' clothing. They've got quite a different, like a few different styles, but I picked out the zip kind of like biker girl kind of vibe trousers and they're a more of like a stretchy material which is good because anything to do with leather you need a bit of stretch in there i've got them in a size 10 just to make sure that i'm not going to be like a scene out of ross in a friends where he's got like talcum powder and he's like smacking himself in the face because he can't actually get the leather trousers on so i don't want that kind of incident what i would say is definitely get your true to size i think i could have probably got away with a size eight in these but i do like the fact that they are a little bit stretchy i've just paired it with my jumper from my last haul from because clothing which i think looks really nice as an outfit and again just paired it with another pair of beautiful boots from because clothing just to kind of complete the outfit i really do like the fit of these the material is really, really, really soft. Really stretchy as well, so you're definitely not going to have a Ross from Friends kind of moment. I like them. I like the little zips in them as well, which I don't know if you can really see, but the zip detailing on them as well, which I really do like. Uh -huh. Yeah. A dress. I can't resist. I just love dresses. I just, I just, I'm a dress kind of girl, okay? That's just my kind of vibes. I picked up this gorgeous red floral patterned dress and what i didn't realize online and i hope it picks up on the camera it's got like glitter in oh my god it looks like christmas it's like a christmas dress it's high neck which i absolutely live for it's got an elasticated waist which i think is going to act as like a little bit of a cinch it has got sort of sheer sleeves but the center of the dress isn't sheer so it has got underskirting yeah so it isn't going to be see-through but i just thought how gorgeous would this look with black tights knee length boots hair nice big and curly maybe even some red lipstick this is giving me all of like the christmas vibes which i am so excited for i did get it in a size eight and i am usually a size eight in most dresses i think for this style dress you don't want it to be baggy you do want it to be quite fitted and yeah oh i'm really excited to pop this on i don't think i'm going to want to take it off like it is just so so pretty this is a little dress of dreams it is so so pretty i absolutely love it i think the only downside is is that one way in one way out like you put it over your head there's no zip or anything so i'm a little bit hot and flustered but i do really really like it i think the fit of it's really nice i probably would have got a size um, you could get away with a size six maybe my boobs just need to be lifted a little bit but it's a little bit buggy around my waist I just paired it with the gorgeous boots again from quiz clothing which obviously you want to see in the cutaway but again i really really love this dress i think it's so pretty especially for autumn i love the glittery bits and i don't know if you can pick that up on camera but it is really really nice and it's so my kind of style of dress but yeah it is so pretty and i absolutely love it i don't know who i think i am maybe i think i'm a little red riding hood or something because i've got quite a few like plummy colors in this going back to the thought that i mentioned about going out tops i wanted to get a bodysuit but i thought i would try and give this color a go think it's gonna go with my skin tone i'm not really sure i often see brunettes pull these kind of colors off but i thought this bodysuit was it's like in this like it's ruched so i love a ruched material who mean who doesn't it's also got sheer sort of mesh sleeves and then it's just long sleeved and i think it's going to look really really nice with those biker trousers that i showed you earlier but also equally it would look really nice with lots of things that i own already 
I got it in a size 10. Again, I didn't want it to be too tight, but now I'm thinking I probably could have got away with a size 8. This top is, well, bodysuit is really, really nice. It fits me perfectly. It's a size 10 and it's a really nice fabric as well. It's so soft. I put it on with the biker leather trousers. So I kind of gifted from Quiz Clothing in today's haul. And then I've just kind of accessorized it out with my Christian Louboutins. So I bought this with the purpose that it would be a more of a dressy occasion, which I think this is perfect for. The next thing that I picked out was this gorgeous cream ribbed cropped roll neck jumper um kind of similar to the one that i'm wearing I think this is a little bit lighter i think this is more of a dark oatmeal kind of color again i've seen this worn so many times on instagram and i just thought it was really really nice i got it in a medium just because when a jumper's cropped like that i like it to be a bit of a more of a lower crop than a higher crop especially with knitwear i think it just looks a bit silly when the crop's too high like it kind of kind of is a bit pointless isn't it when you're trying to keep yourself warm i thought the color of this was absolutely stunning and will go with lots of things in this haul actually i like the fact that it's got the knitted sleeves and then it's got the ribbed middle and then just a nice chunky roll neck to give your neck that little hug that it needs when it is really really chilly this is the cropped jumper i think i probably could have got away with a size small but the medium i do like i think what i would probably do is just like tuck it into a pair of jeans like that but also i think maybe it would look cute with like over a dress as well that's something else i like to do with my jumpers as you all will know by now but it is so soft it is so cozy it's a really big roll neck so when you pull it over your head you're not gonna get makeup on it which i think is an absolute must when it comes to jumpers okay yeah i was most excited about this because i just love a satin skirt and the colour of this, again, just gives me all the Christmas vibes. So it's a Jaxi satin skirt and it's got this kind of knotted feature. It's a really thick fabric, like it feels like really, really nice quality. I got it in a size 8, so hopefully it, do it does fit me. Right, last but not least is this really nice satin skirt. I've just stripped it on with my ACDC t-shirt because I thought it was quite nice. I thought the pearls in it works really well with the skirt. It is such a good quality. It's quite a thick satin, which I really, really like. I like the little, like, ruched knotting detail here. And, yeah, I just really, really love it. I love the colour of it. It's so nice. Definitely pick yourself up this. I think they've got it in a few different colours. I think they've got it in, like, an orangey colour. Or maybe just... Maybe it's just this colour and black. I can't remember. But, yeah, it's really nice. It fits really nicely. I'm glad that it has got a little bit of a slit in it because it can just be... I think without the slit, it would have been a bit just too, like, straight up, straight down. So it just gives the skirt a little bit more of a shape and style. So lucky. Like, these have all been obviously gifted to me. And I can't wait to show you how I style them. And I'll be featuring lots of these over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow them in there, please go and hit that follow button. I'm nearly at 7,000 subscribers. I've got a couple of hundred more to go. I'm nearly at 700 subscribers on here. So... What I'm thinking of doing, what I probably will do, is I'll do a nice big giveaway once I hit 7,000 on Instagram and probably 1,000 on YouTube. A little hint of what I'm thinking of doing, so all the brands that I consistently collaborate with, I will be doing a nice big giveaway for one of those brands. So if you want to be a part of that giveaway, then hit the follow button, hit the like button, keep up with me, keep up with my videos over the next couple of months, and hopefully I'll do a nice big giveaway hopefully this side of 2020 but we'll see anyway so that was everything that I was kindly gifted from quiz clothing I hope you like the things that I picked out and if you do don't forget you can shop everything that I showed you in the video in the description box below and if you did like it then please give it a big thumbs up I would really really appreciate it and I shall see you in my next video bye guys